Story 1. The Boy on the Firing Range I was inside an army truck one morning, about 5 a.m. I was bringing my men to the range. As the range was near the live firing area, and we had to go into that area. As we approached the area, my driver noticed a hump, and thus, he switched on his high beams. It was at this time that both my driver and myself saw a white figure of a boy carrying a school backpack trying to flag a taxi into the live firing area. My driver turned his head and asked me whether I saw what he saw. I knew that we had saw something that we should not have seen and tried to play it off that it was an optical illusion. And when I looked in the side mirror to confirm whether or not what we saw was a human, there was nothing there. The boy had vanished. Story 2. My Brother's Goodbye My brother Tom and I were very close growing up. In 1964, I went off to college, and Tom was accepted into the Air Force Academy. Tom graduated and was posted to an air wing in the South China Sea. At the time, news and letters that we, my family and I, received from my brother generally was about two to three weeks behind, and of course very censored. On Thanksgiving Day, 1967, at about three in the afternoon, we were getting ready to sit down for dinner, and the front doorbell rang. My father went to answer it. I was coming up from the cellar with two bottles of wine. I heard my mother sob and say out loud, Oh no, oh dear God, no. My father, our neighbors, and I all rushed into the dining room. And sitting there at the table was my brother Tom. We all saw him. And though none of us physically saw him speak, we all distinctly heard him say that he had come to say goodbye. My mother swears that she heard him say that he'd been shot down over Laos and that he'd been killed along with his navigator. Twelve days later, we received the news from the Air Force. My brother Tom had been lost in action at approximately 3 p.m. our time, Thanksgiving Day. Story 3. Boarding School Ghost I am a house parent's son, so while the students went to their real homes for vacation, I stayed there because... That was my home. There was a rumor that a boy had hung himself in the attic of the house. We could never get a confirmed or denied through any official means. The first thing that happened was my mom and one of the students were in the house by themselves. They were sitting in the kitchen when they heard someone run down the stairs, run back up the stairs, and slam a door. The student was so frightened that she ran outside. When Dad got back, he looked around, and nothing was there. The second thing that happened was when the students were home on vacation. Mom was checking their rooms. It was dark out, and she walked down the hallway. She felt a hand on her shoulder. She turned around, thinking it was my father, but no one was there. There wasn't even any rooms to duck into on that hall, just walls. There was a closet door upstairs that would never stay shut. We would shut it, walk in a room. When we came back, the door would be open again. The students would shut it, and still, always it would come open again. We locked it, We put steps in front of it, and still, it'd pop open. It would stay closed as long as we stood there, watching it, and as soon as we left, it'd pop open again. But probably the scariest thing happened in the basement. There was a big room down there that was split in half. A ping pong table on one side, and a TV and stereo on the other. You had to walk through a door into the ping pong table side, then walk through an opening to get to the other side. There was only one way in. While we were playing ping pong, there were four of us, the radio came on, just long enough for us to run around to the other side. Just before we came into that room, the radio shut off again. We looked at the radio really carefully, and it had been switched to the tape side, so if it had turned on, it should have been playing the tape, not the radio. Like everything else, there was no one hiding or playing tricks. The home has since been remodeled, and we haven't had any problems since then. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it.